Hi, my name is Linda Leogas. I'm a children's book author, illustrator and programmer. This series is a love letter to the computer and it's intended for you, the creative and curious teacher. For the past five years, I've worked with teachers all around the world, helping them see the world of computer science the way I see it. Computers are the crowning intellectual achievement of the 20th century. Bringing them to the world required so many different talents. From a daughter of a poet and mathematician, to a jackward loom maker with his punch cards, an inventor obsessed with cogs and steams, an electrical engineer who combined the laws of electrical circuits with eccentric English mathematical logic, and countless other philosophers, material scientists, artists, dreamers and tinkerers. Computers are about humans and their big ideas. But that's not the way computer science is for most of us. For most of us, computer science is mechanical, complex, inaccessible and boring. And that's why Hello Ruby was born. Literally in the margins of my computer science books, trying to make the world of computers more playful and more gentle. And that's the world I want to show to you. Computer science is not coding. Programming is for computer science the same as pipettes for chemistry, brushes for an artist or telescopes to an astronomer. Another thing computer science is not is learning to use spreadsheets, sending emails or searching the internet. It's not e-skills, ICT skills or digital literacy and it definitely isn't something digital natives know how to do by playing with their mobile phones. We often think that computer science is about studying the computers, like physics is about understanding the physical world, but this is not true either. So what is computer science? It's the science of using computers to solve problems. Information is the thing that computer science is fascinated with, how we represent, store, manipulate and present it. And Turns out, more and more of the big problems in science, biology, economy, engineering and healthcare can be solved effectively by working together with the computer. Computer science. Algorithm. Arrays. Arrays. Eraser. Sometimes we make computer science too abstract and focus on the words instead of the concepts. So, like Jean Piaget thought already in the 1950s, rather than trying to offer a pre-organized vocabulary of concepts or an entirely organized intellectual discipline, we should be grounding the learning in action. And it's exactly this. Computer science is a way of thinking that we'll be exploring together, but we'll do it with a twist. Challenging the arbitrary divisions we make between the natural and the technological, the modern and the traditional, the human and the computer. In this series, we'll go inside a computer, become routers, learn about electronic circuits and collect training data for machine learning systems. We'll ask questions like, what actually is a computer? How quickly can computers solve problems? And how computing education can be delivered equitably and inclusively to everyone? We'll cover code, algorithms, hardware, problems and people. We'll explore what computer science is, what it looks like in the real world and how it can be shown in your classroom across different disciplines. Technology is ever more present in our everyday lives. The culture of technology it influences the way we experience movies, news and work life and it changes the way we see friendships, families and even form our societies. But technologies don't invent themselves. People do. And computer scientists they are ultimately human. Ever since I was a kid, I've felt that there is something mysterious about computer science, about the people who could create an entire world as if they were little sorcerers. As Fred Brooks said, the programmer builds something out of nothing. There are several important concepts at the heart of computer science. I have chosen to emphasize eight of them. Computational thinking, programming, data and algorithms, computer hardware, computer systems, computer networks and machine learning. In addition, we'll explore coding with Scratch 
and learn about introducing equity and diversity in computer science, all sprinkled with problem solving and creativity. After this series, I want you to be able to look at a piece of technology with confidence and see the possibility of something different, new and exciting. Dear Linda, how does a computer scientist see the world? Thank you.